April is here and so is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Last week we talked about ways you at home can prevent child abuse and this week we are visiting with the Rape and Abuse Crisis Center to learn how they are raising awareness about child sexual abuse and healthy relationships with children in our community. With us today is Training and Education Coordinator Greg Lemke. Hi Greg. Hi Heidi. So Greg tell us a little bit about um, talking to children about body ownership and personal boundaries. Why is it so important? It's important for a lot of reasons, but we know children probably get a lot of touches just throughout the day from a lot of different people in their lives. And so we just want them to understand that if it, uh, they get a touch that, that makes them feel sad, hurt, confused, uncomfortable, or unsafe, uh, that they should talk to um, an adult helper about that. And to understand that, it's important that we talk about uh, body ownership and personal boundaries. And what we mean by that is that, that it's their body, uh, that it belongs to them, and that only they can decide if they want to touch or not. And so we do that through our Red Flag, Green Flag program, which we present to second and uh, third grade age children at daycares and, and almost all the elementary schools in um, Cass and Clay counties. And so when we do that program, we talk about uh, body ownership and personal boundaries. So the, so the programs are put into the elementary schools, which is fantastic. Um, tell us a little bit more about that red flag, green flag. It's been around for a while, right? It has, yeah. It's been around for quite a while. Uh, red flag, green flag is an evidence-based program uh, that actually was developed uh, by staff at the Rape and Abuse Crisis Center several years ago. It's had some updates. We had a, a fairly big, uh, large update recently to make sure that we're giving the best and most uh, recent information uh, in the books. And we do that program in, like I said, second or third grades. And most of Cass and Clay County Public Schools is where we do that. And so I mentioned that Red Flag, Green Flag teaches kids about those personal boundaries and body ownership and really empowers them to, to speak up and to tell a trusted helper, an adult helper, if they get a touch or something, maybe somebody shows them an image on an iPad or something, but if it's something that makes them feel sad, hurt, confused, uh, uncomfortable or unsafe, we want them to tell uh, an adult about that, a trusted adult helper. And when we're in the classroom, well, we're there for two sessions, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and currently, of course, we're teaching virtually and we're excited to hopefully get back in the classroom uh, in person when it's safe to do so. And when we are do presenting that program, even when we're doing it virtually now, there's, there's teachers, counselors, paras, other adults in there that we um, make sure the kids understand that those are some of the trusted adult helpers we're talking about. Yeah, exactly. So we know that many children do experience domestic violence in their homes. Um, can you tell us about um, what your, your uh, company is doing about this issue? Sure, yeah. Unfortunately, we know that, that uh, many children probably experience some form of domestic violence in their home, in their families. And so we also uh, have a program that was created uh, um, in-house, and it's called I Wish the Hitting Would Stop. And that's a program we do for fourth or fifth grade um, age children, and again, Cass and Clay County Schools. And so I Wish the Hitting Would Stop is a domestic violence education program um, in which we talk to the children about domestic violence and about the importance of um, respect to have a healthy and safe relationship. In the I Wish program, it's the same. It's two sessions, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and, and we talk to the kids about the violence happening. And one of the main things that we stress is that if there's violence happening to them or around them, it is never their fault. Um, and then again, we, we talk about the trusted helpers that they can go to um, if they're feeling unsafe, scared, uncomfortable, sad, those types of things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you so much, Greg. We will make sure that we put, oh, and right up there on the screen, we're going to see the information on how to get in touch with you. If anybody wants to know more about the Red Flag, Green Flag, or any of the I Wish programs, um, that information is right there on the screen for you. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Coming up on today's show, we have your dose of daily motivation.